What's going on YouTube? Mike go back with another TTM recap episode. Got a five spot for you today, all football. So football fans, this one's for you. Can't wait to get into these in a moment. Real quick announcement though. I am looking at doing a live feed this coming Sunday evening, maybe around seven o'clock. Did it a few weeks ago. It was pretty successful. A lot of people hopped on, had a good time chatting with you guys in the chat room and uh, it was fun. So I want to do it again. I have some stuff I can show off that day. Some things that I don't think are really worthy of their own mail day, or maybe if anything else comes in. I have a lot of videos to work on. Just had a giant uh, 65 card PSA DNA order come in. Didn't even crack into that yet. And uh, have some other stuff to show off as well. A Pepino Man contest video to do. So maybe I'll lump some stuff into that live video. So let's uh, get into the TTMs real quick. First one is a two of two success coming in. 13 days it's from former buffalo bills quarterback trent edwards again two of two in 13 days he signed these cards in thin black they look pretty solid so definitely happy to add these to the collection trent edwards didn't exactly have the most successful career but there's a few reasons why i kind of uh like these cards and definitely happy to add them to the collection first off um my brother, who's a Bills fan, was kind of into Trent Edwards back in the day, so the player will always mean something um, in those terms. Plus, uh, have some great memories of going to a Bills-Patriots game, tailgating with uh, my sister, my brothers, and some friends. A whole pile of us went up to Buffalo for a Patriots-Bills game, tailgate it, had a good time. Trent Edwards started that day. That was the Matt Castle year, unfortunately. Um, not that the Pats were bad that year, but you'd rather see Brady than Matt Castle, of course. But just had a blast on that trip, so these are cool for the collection. So, Trent Edwards, 2-2, two 13 days. Nice ones for the collection. Uh, got another quarterback here. This is another 2-2 two two success, returned in 13 days. This is coming from former Seattle Seahawks quarterback. Also spent some time with the Chargers and Redskins, I believe. John Freeze. He was actually with the Patriots for, I believe, a year as a backup. I don't think he actually got on the field, but he was on the roster. He signed this Flair Showcase card, which came out really well in blue. Looks really nice. Some nice shine to it. And then he also signed this 1997 Fleer. The 97 Fleer cards are excellent for autographs. Got this real uh, flat finish that... Uh, Definitely, there's never, you don't have to worry about any rubbing or uh, smudging on these cards. So, that's a nice one for the collection. So, happy to add these. Got a few more. This one is coming from former Eagle, former Jets coach, working with ESPN now. It's a one of one success returned in 10 days. It's a Panini classic success from Herman Edwards. Again, one of one in 10 days. Gave it the old short sig. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, the blue, uh, marker that he used slash pen wasn't the best, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, Panini classics are sweet for autographs. So definitely happy to add this to the collection. Got one from a receiver that everyone's been getting back from. And I finally got on the horse and sent one. It's a two of two success coming in 23 days from Mr. Rod Smith. This guy was a fantastic player. Uh, put up some incredible numbers. He signed two of two on the Panini Classics, so really happy about that. Also sent his business card um, to uh, promote his upcoming uh, book, The Rod Effect. You can grab a free downloadable copy of that book uh, at therodeffectbook.com. I'm actually surprised he sent this out. A lot of personal information on here, uh, but very cool. So, really happy to get that return from Rod Smith. And my final return from the day is a Hall of Fame success. It's 3 of 3 in 13 days from Mr. Walter Jones. Tackle for the Seattle Seahawks, Hall of Famer, um, great player. Not appreciated as much as he should because he's a tackle, but signed this nice Topps Heritage card. Looks pretty good. Signed a Topps card. Which is again very solid. My favorite is this Topps 50th anniversary card. Really like this one. Love these cards. Think they just look outstanding. And I was actually reading something about him uh, earlier that he only had nine offensive holds called against him in a 13 year career. That's freaking ridiculous. I watch linemen who get, you know, 
five holding calls in a quarter and a half sometimes. So that's just a very cool return from a great player. So, guys, it was a nice football day. I know I get a lot of baseball TTMs. I certainly send more baseball than I do football. But every now and then I get some football out, and I'm always happy to add them to the collection. So comment below. Let me know what you think of these successes. Hit the like button, subscribe, and have yourselves a great one.